Today I'm taking a look at the Gdansk. This is the new tier 10 in the pan-European tech tree for destroyers. And it's pretty insane considering you have a radar and a smoke. And that radar is a little bit interesting. Only a 12 second uptime, but a nine kilometer detect on a destroyer. This is pretty important because we have other ships like Smallend, which is a premium. Uh, but we only have a seven and a half kilometer detect here. Lasts a little longer, but less range. No smoke on this one either. Also a Ragnar, another premium. This one also gets seven and a half kilometer detect on the ra uh, radar, sorry. But again, no smoke on this one. So the interesting thing here is that smoke plus radar combo. There's not very many destroyers that really have this or ships in the game. Uh, the black at tier nine does end up getting that but it really did then lacks a lot of torpedo power. So if we go over here, notice that we can slot ourselves a radar, but again, seven and a half kilometer range to get that. But the interesting thing here with this tier 10 Gdansk is we get 139 millimeter guns. So somewhere in between the really light DD guns that are usually in the 127 range that are typically pretty floaty out to ranges, making nine kilometer radar not all that helpful. This should help us. Uh, the extra shell velocity should be a good thing. Ragnar, of course, does have 152s, which are even better for hitting things at longer range, but we don't have the longer radar. And Ragnar can kind of be a little difficult to play with its concealment and radar range being pretty close if you run a full conceal build. Here we do actually gain a stealth radar as well. 7.7 kilometers stealth if we do a full conceal build, giving us surprise radar. Um, but this I can see being not amazing in random battles, although we will take it out and test it. But this is going to be a menace in any sort of team game mode, especially if you're communicating. Ranked, it'll be pretty good, but uh, especially in clan battles, Kings of the Sea, that kind of stuff. This is, this is pretty nasty. Um, you get really good players, all focus firing. 12 seconds is fine. You're going to do a ton of damage, if not outright kill a destroyer. As for the build here, I'm starting off with uh, a bit of a range build, trying to get some extra range on these 139 millimeter guns. The reload is surprisingly good. 3.1 seconds on these guns. And uh, we do get seven guns, a little bit of a weird number, but that is gonna be a decent amount of DPM here. And I'm assuming we'll be able to farm battleships reasonably well as well. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. I'm not running Fearless Brawler. We don't have a heal on this ship, so that is a bit of an issue. I might have a go with a full DPM build here later on, but uh, to me, this makes a little more sense. We can use main battery and AA specialist. That 5% reload is valuable when we're in a smoke screen, and uh, we have quite a few consumables already, so I'm actually giving up superintendent. We'll see about that. That seems a little sketchy. Uh, we might actually end up giving up concealment since we do have a stealth radar anyway, even if we give up one concealment. So we could take some extra damage or utility that way. Survivability expert, of course, is going to be required. No heal means that's all the health you get. 27,900. We do need to make the most of that. Last stand is always excellent. Preventive maintenance. Then grease the gears. Uh, the turrets, not the fastest turn right. So that could be a bit of an issue here. And uh, since our radar is such a short duration, we want to make sure we have that on target as much as we possibly can. Main battery mod three, of course. Uh, I guess we could try a, real, a range here if we were thinking, but uh, DPM seems pretty nice there. Concealment, propulsion, aiming systems, of course, and then the radar upgrade even. Uh, that does get us out to 12 seconds instead of 10 seconds, but uh, it's probably something you want to be doing. I don't know if you want to go all in on, uh, <laughs> on consumables, but if you really wanted to get the most out of the radar, you could even take uh, ship consumables mod one here. Uh, but I don't think that's necessarily necessary. Uh, but hey, you do get a little, bit of, a little bit of torpedoes, but only nine kilometer range. The speed is good, but the damage is not. So really not much of a torpedo boat. Just kind of throw those out um, in zones and maybe around cap zones if we're trying to deal with DDs. But let's, uh, let's take it into a game and see how it goes. It is pretty fast as well. So uh, I'm expecting this ship to do pretty well, assuming you can mitigate the problem of no heal. So to start things off, we did end up in an arms race game against uh, some super ships. Well, just one. Uh, one of the worst ones you could be facing, <laughs> a super carrier. Uh, we'll see how this ends up going, but this radar could be extremely powerful here. These buffs are certainly going to help our ship survive a little bit more, um, but hopefully we'll get a more standard battle 
uh, later on. But to start with, I think we want to play pretty aggressive. We do see that they have radar. I'm always checking for radar on the enemy team, but they're on the other side of the map, which is a little scary. Colbert could be spooky, <laughs> certainly to deal with. But for us, uh, getting these DDs killed, we know we're going to win a gunfight against a Gearing or a Fletcher. We just got to find them and then use our radar. I think this is going to be a very powerful utility DD. I think anybody who's really good at contesting caps and figuring out uh, how to win those DD engagements, you're going to do a great job. And here we go. Gearing is here. And uh, we've used up our radar. But that's okay. He probably torped me. So let's try to uh, not eat torps here. Double velocity, at least at this range, seems excellent. There's those torpedoes. The reload's actually way better than I was uh, thinking it might be. Alrighty. Not bad at the start. I kind of used that preemptively. I was assuming the DD was in the cap here, actually. So that's where I was thinking I would uh, pick up some damage, and that's why my turrets were there. The turrets are a little slow. This turret specifically, this rear one, is actually a 360 turret. Briefly detected by the gearing, that's fine. This feels like a really, really fast reload for the gun caliber. Ah, uh, that's just going to the island here. Yeah, this feels really quick for the gun caliber. <laughs> Out to 10 kilometers, it's a six second lead time. That's, that is manageable. This is going to be a strong ship. Oh my goodness. Very, very strong. Felt some damage to the DD. It's all right. But yeah, the guns are going to be really, really nice here. I think having some range is really good. But uh, I don't know. The full stealth, the full gun build. There's a lot of op options here. Our radar is back up, so we can play a little more aggressive into this gearing again. Um, our support isn't massive here, but... Uh, Really, we just need to avoid taking a huge Conqueror or Takahashi salvo. Yeah, this is strong. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, actually, after this game, I'm going to go just check really quick if there's any sort of uh, changes going on to the ship before it goes into into uh, live. Because uh, this seems a little excessive. So I'll check after this game. I hope... Uh, I, I don't know. The stealth radar seems a little much. As always, I'm not a huge fan of radars that uh, you don't really have any warning of them. Uh, I enjoy having that kind of counterplay as a destroyer. It allows you to kind of play around the radars a little bit better. You know, like Des Moines, for example, 10.5-ish kilometer concealment, 10 kilometer radar, open water, you can uh, you can see that. Whereas this, you just, you just don't see it. Yeah, these guns too, man. These guns too, man. Wow. Okay. Could really try the AP at some point. Considering the caliber, we might, uh, if we find the Colbert or something like that, that might be a really good way to get a ton of damage in. But uh, even against cruisers here, the pen on the HE is decent. It's 23. Millimeters? Not bad. Let's see if we can't finish off this Takahashi. Use our engine boost so we're a little harder to hit. Conker does shoot at us. Hopefully we avoid this one. I think he probably aimed high for us to turn away. Yep. Okay, cruiser down. Go uh, torture some battleships, shall we? This thing is a full gunboat. It'll be ridiculous, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. The reload's already insane here. Good range. Fire chance, obviously, pretty good, too. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Bit of a terror on the server, I think, is what this is going to end up being. No heal, though, is a bit of a downer. I will say this kind of playstyle would love a heal instead of the smoke. But I suppose we can't quite have everything. <laughs> oh, wait, we don't have AP. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought we did. Okay, that's a weakness for sure. Oh, I was so excited for the Colbert to go bronze. <laughs> Even without our speed boost, it's pretty hard for this uh, Colbert to actually hit us at these ranges, you know? damage on him. And obviously we could be uh, just smoking up too is the other thing. Which is also really, really good for us. Yeah, the DDs, man. They're just going to get absolutely crushed by this thing. Mm, he's just on the edge of my radar, unfortunately. Could charge for him, but I think our uh, carrier is going to spot him here in a second. Get a little blind fire in on him. Did a decent job there. He's got his engine back up. Do a little more. Even got a fire on him at the end there. <laughs> oh, man. I foresee this being a pain to fight. have the smoke like I say I want the heal but I mean sometimes you just sit in a smoke and just farm away it's pretty good too although this conqueror is just getting tortured but hey this is arms race keep that in mind so maybe uh, some of these buffs are helping us out too much where uh, in a standard game it wouldn't certainly have more HP we're getting a heal we have max heals as a team. Not the most, uh, not the most balanced game mode, that's for sure. Okay, not too insane, only 77, but uh, the feeling of the ship is very, very, very strong. Um, yeah, let me let me go check and see if there's any nerfs coming. So just looking here on the dev blog, the answer appears to be no. There's a few DD changes here coming, but uh, they're for the tier 9, tier 5, tier 6, 7, and 8. Not the tier 10. I had to go back a little bit and found this is the last time they did any changes, which were actually buffs to the ship. <laughs> which we can see here, torpedo range increased to 10 kilometers. We have 10 kilometer torps, so obviously that change has already happened. So seems like this is live. Very strong ship coming. So I already know this ship is going to just destroy cap zones and DDs if you go the full conceal build. Let's try out for our next game the Fearless Brawler uh, DPM build. Try and get as much damage from these guns as we can. Uh, it's going to be pretty good. Let's give it a go. So up next here we have Ocean and a ton of DDs to go kill. <laughs> I, I really do think this ship is going to be ridiculous. Ridiculous to fight against. I'm already dreading playing some of my DDs against this thing. It feels a bit like, like let's give Kleber or uh, Kaba a radar that's nine kilometers. And even with this build, we have eight points. We still have a stealth radar. Oh my goodness. And our rudder is fine, so it's not like I need to take double rudder or something like that. I still can take conceal on one of the upgrades. Oh, look at that. We're spotted. Alrighty, hello, Mr. Blau. Oh, hello, DDs. How are you? They open up on us, so let's pop our insane speed boost. And then we have our fearless brawler here. Oh, 
booster is slow. Turn out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, you, you just give... You give Kleber or Kaba... You give Kleber or Kaba a radar. Hmm... Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh look, our raider's back up. That's fun. Oh, he's done. Unfortunately, there is a submarine here, which is going to make it a little harder to farm these battleships. Holy crap, look at the reload. Gotta hit that superstructure, though. Oh, we're getting hit. Okay. Get a little more. Hey, there we go. So we're a big target. Alright, we do want to not be <laughs> dealing with the sub. Preferably. Oh, there goes our rudder again, unfortunate. So they're kind of clumped up there. That's a little harder to deal with, certainly. But hey, we got to smoke if we push up and make use of that. But that's like... That's what this ship is going to do. You're just going to send it towards a cap, get spotted, pop radar, do a ton of damage. And then if the enemy DD is smart, they will they might wait out the radar because it's short. But then it's up again. Like, radars come up pretty quick here. 57 second cooldown is pretty disgusting. And you know, a, a submarine will get away. That's the unfortunate thing is against subs are not quite as good. Right? Because subs can just dip underwater for free and get away. But against DDs, disgusting. And then we have decent range and uh, shell velocity to just farm away. Which, you know, I'm not doing, like, the best job of this. But... No AP is a, certainly a downside. Look at this APM, though. Holy crap. Certainly unfortunate for us that the enemy sub is on us. Okay, we missed those. Friesland's going for him, that's good. We're here to support Friesland. My team's kind of crushing us, to be fair. Rudder again. Yeah, this this sub only cares about us. He's getting hunted by uh, other DDs. There we go. Impossible to hit right away. Feels bad, but that's okay. Oh no, guys, please. Well, it's a blowout, but we see the power, right? We see the power. We understand what this is capable of, surely. Good fire. Didn't quite get him. We see the power. We just didn't have a team in this one.
13 kilometers. Well, really max range. Still hit him. <laughs> wow. Wow, what a blowout. What a blowout. That sucks. That sucks, man. But this is a, this is a ridiculous ship. Absolutely insane. But holy crap, what a team. <laughs> I haven't I have not seen a blowout like this in a very long time. I kind of want to make sure this sub dies. He should be pretty low. Good game, everyone. Yeah, whatever. Let's just farm the Satsuma. Let's see how much damage we can do to this Monty and Satsuma. There we go, fire, double fire. Oh, this Atsuma ran away. Too bad. Well, to be fair, we are we were farming them pretty good. DPM, huh? DPM. Kind of a lot. Just unfortunate Wargaming's got so many blowouts in the in the queue for us. Keep in mind we're at 12 kilometers away from this guy. We could be another couple kilometers away. Already up to 150. Yeah, so I was definitely more focused on, you know, not dying to the sub and killing the DDs early. But if you get a battleship to farm, it is free with this thing. <laughs> I I can't can I I can't believe they made this. I'll be honest. I can't believe they made it. This is like <laughs> this, is, this is a little little much. Turrets are slow. Turrets are slow. more. There we go. Yep. Ship's busted, man. Ship is busted. Holy crap. They, they printed this? It's been a while. They've they haven't really printed a not, like one this insane for a bit, right? Like Vincent was pretty insane, but how long ago was Vincent? Is it close to a year? Hmm. Maybe my memory's not good. But right now it's just like what do you do against this? As a battleship you just get farmed. As a DD you get radared and outgunned. Cruiser, I guess? I guess cruisers kind of got to deal with it, but even then it's like fast. 43 knots and a speed boost when it wants it. And it's got a smoke to kind of disappear with. Oh no, I'm scared, man. I'm scared of this thing. 
I mean, we could, like, I'm not going to do it. We're going to end the video here, but we could do a full range build even. Like, what do you even get for range? I bet it's usable. 16-7? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, there you go. The tier 10 uh, coming to the game soon. Unfortunately, it's early access, and this is the whole point of releasing an OP ship, uh, is to get you baited into participating in uh, scummy early access stuff. So... That's it. Um, if you can wait, wait. Uh, two months from now, we got ourselves a pretty insane DD. Hopefully they don't nerf it uh, in that amount of time. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if once the money has been collected, this thing gets nerfed down a little bit. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.